Okay, so let me explain the acronym uh, VUCA. First, V stands for volatility. And what does it mean to you as a leader? Volatility refers to the change in our leadership environment. It refers to the uncertain nature of change and the difference in terms of the impact on uh, rate, currency, magnitude of change, the effects of change on organization. And the modern world today is full of change and there's very little that we can uh, do about it except to engage, to manage it and to make sure that this change will has a positive impact on our organization. So next we talk about U, stands for the VUCA VU, U stands for uncertainty. What does it mean? It refers to the lack of pred predictability regarding the events that will impact on our goals and objectives and also on our team at the workplace. Uh, also, uh, uncertainty refers that uh, we can be certain as what's going to happen next. It's difficult to use the patterns of previous events to predict outcome. And this is a real challenge for leaders today because we tend to rely what worked in the past to predict the future. And this leads to the concept of cognitive readiness, which I will talk about in, in our uh, one of our modules in our program. So that's you, uncertainty. C, complexity in VUCA refers to the, um, we need to acknowledge that most scenarios uh, in today's workplace or in, in organize, uh, organization today, uh, there are multiple factors at play within or beyond our organization. And each has a unique consequences or impact on the organization. Therefore, what it means to you as business leader, that we need to be able to understand and manage the sheer numbers of factors and the unpredictable interaction can cause confusion at the workplace and your team. So as a leader, you need to be able to engage and lead them to success. And we'll talk about how you do that in one of the modules called Leap Through the VUCA World, L-E-A-P, which is the acronym that we see used to help leaders to develop the competency to manage successfully in the VUCA world. And lastly, A for ambiguity. What does it mean? Ambiguity arises from the confusion that's created by the combination of volatility, uncertainty, and complexity. Because of all this confluence of all these factors create an outlook for the leader which looks very hazy. Now, it's very hard for leader today to distinguish between threats from opportunities, problems from non-event. Events and outcome can easily create a lot of confusion at the workplace for you and your team. So what do you need to do is to be able to help your team to steer through this uh, uncharted water, these challenging times. So that's what VUCA is. Let me give you some examples of how VUCA has impacted organization today and the reality and how can you make uh, VUCA and adapt your organization uh, by steering through these uh, challenging times. Number one, volatility. Um, you know, this is interesting because let me give you an example of an automobile company uh, in Bangkok during the 2012, uh, there was a great flood in Bangkok, Thailand. And uh, prices fluctuate after such this natural disaster. And we take the supplier offline. Uh, for that automobile company because what happened is the supplier cannot move the parts across Bangkok to reach the uh, manufacturing plant. So therefore, this has hampered the automobile manufacturer ability to deliver its commitment to clients worldwide. Number one, that's volatility. So what it means to you as a leader is be prepared. Be prepared to meet these challenges and these natural disasters because it will impact your supply chain. Second, we look at uncertainty. What does it mean? Uh, this is a pharmaceutical company which has decided to launch new antibiotics. And the uncertainty here is where the competitor of this company uh, decided to launch ahead of the, my client uh, a product. Uh, what it means is that the client is not uh, prepared for the uncertainty which is created by the competitors launching of the new product. 
Now again, as a leader in a VUCA world, you need to anticipate, plan ahead. And this is the challenge that many leaders today have because the state of the mind, our mental model needs to be shifted and changed to be able to respond quickly and effectively to this change. Third, let me give an example of complexity. What does it mean? Um, this is a company which uh, involved in a professional services consulting firm. Uh, complexity in Asia Pacific uh, is an American consulting firm. My client wants to come in into the Asia Pacific. Uh, you know, the perception many American company may have is that Asia Pacific is one single market, but it is far from reality. In Asia, you, as you know, the Japanese market, the Chinese, the Indian, and within the Southeast Asia, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Philippines, has very distinctively different market practices. So doing business in many countries with unique regu regulatory uh, environment frameworks and cultural values, what it means is that it add the adds to the complexity of doing business across culture. So that is a C. And lastly, the ambiguity. And the A, the last A, the ambiguity, it refers to organization moving into market which beyond your organization core competency. Let me give you an example. Here is an organization which is a, uh, a hotel uh, who wanted to move into the um, a space on car rental, uh, providing transportation services, which it makes sense because it's a complimentary service to his guests, which arrive from the airport, they need to pick up the guests, and the guests may want to use the services throughout the stay. Now, uh, the challenge here for the hotel, for the organization, is that they're moving to a market which beyond their core competency, their core competency is in accommodation, providing um, that's uh, a service in their space, but moving into transportation, they are facing huge challenge because with the emerging of Uber, emerging with other uh, uh, existing players, for example, like, of course, the uh, transportation companies, the taxes, uh, private hiring companies, created a tremendous challenge for the hotel. Uh, is an ambiguity that impacting the ability to successfully launch the new service, uh, which is the uh, transportation for the client. So what does it mean? If you look at the VUCA, as I explained, the impact on business is fantastic. Now, uh, it's going to create a lot of uh, challenge for leaders who are not able to shift their mental model on how to transform their team, the thinking. That is why you need to re-examine your uh, uh, way of doing business. How do you lead your team to steer them to success in the VUCA world is very important. VUCA, as I mentioned earlier, you will recall in my opening remark, I mentioned that VUCA started from the US War College. Um, there's a gentleman, uh, general, uh, four-star general, General Josh Casey, who was the Army Chief of Staff and the Commanding General of the Multinational Force in, in Iraq during the President George Bush uh, tenure. And uh, General George Casey uh, clearly articulated that to, to be successful as leaders in the VUCA world, one must expand one's leadership energy and in giving priority to what we call what he called articulating a clear vision to drive organizational success. Now, what does it mean for leaders in the VUCA world is to ensure that you clearly articulate the vision for your team and for the whole organization. So people are very clear, they are not befuddled by turmoil or the challenges, so they know they need to succeed, they need to act fast, and they need to be able to be guided by this philosophy, uh, visionary leadership, uh, which VUCA needs terribly. So this is the way uh, that the future holds for us. The question is, are you ready uh, for VUCA?